Hi, so we are going to make a very nice effect where we'll have so many fish. They will be in a flock and they will be moving in the ocean. So we'll achieve this effect using Maya particles and instancer. Let's get started. So first we'll need a 3D model of a fish before you are going to use your model for instancer. It's always very good to first clean up your model and have your model facing to X direction. So I will freeze the transformations and I will center its pivot and then I will delete the history so like that we will clean up our model first and then we have to make sure that the model is facing to x direction so currently our model is facing to z so not to z we have to make sure that it is facing to x and it should be positive x so I will rotate it 90 degrees in y and again I will freeze the transform so it should be clean up next we will animate our fish so I will animate it using deformer. So we'll go in the animation and there we have create deformers non-linear sign. So here you get the sign deformer handle. I will first place it parallel to the fish. So it should be rotated in Z like this. And then we'll go in the inputs and I will have some amplitude to have the motion waves in the fish. So currently it's upside. I will rotate it to sideways so it should be 90 degrees in Y so now we have this deformation in our fish I will reduce the amplitude maybe little and with the offset we can move our fish like this so you can see when I am taking the value to negative it is moving like this so maybe I will reduce the amplitude to 0 0.07 little bit less so now will animate our offset attribute so for that I will go in the windows animation editors and expression editor and here we have our sign attribute from the attributes choose your offset and copy this and paste in the expressions so I will type here equal to time so now our offset attribute will be animated according to time say create so now you can see our offset is animated now and I will have some more frames here and now we play so we'll have this motion in our fish it will be animated up to infinity so the value is going to positive we want it to negative I will go back in the expression editor and I will multiply the time with a negative value so I will say star star or multiply button then negative 1 and we will say edit so when you say edit it now it will play the value in negative so we will have this motion in our fish maybe I will animate the fish little faster so we will go back again in the expression editor and instead of 1 I will multiply it with 2 so we will have faster animation in the fish and one thing also you have to make sure that when you are working with dynamics you should always have your playback speed to play every frame and uh, right now we have this this much fast animation so I will reduce it not 2 instead 1.2 so we will have this speed so now our fish is animated next we have to make so many fish we will achieve that using the particles so currently we have our object model and we have the sign deformer I will just have them in a single group so now our handle and the geometry are in the group and just for now I will hide them so press ctrl H on your keyboard so now we will make our particles so we will go in the dynamics menu set we will click on particles particle tool options and I will first reset everything and I will say create particle grid and particle spacing maybe I'll have it to 6 and then we'll click here in the viewport then one particle here then one particle here so like that you will get your particles grid and now we'll make all these particles into a fish so I will just show my group again where we have our fish we'll select the group then the particles and now we'll go in the particles menu and there we have instancer so as you say instancer now you can see our every particle has a copy of our original fish and it has the animation also so if you see here we have our original fish and then so many copies of our fish 
these these are the our instancer so what what happens in our original fish the effect it will be happening in our instancer also so like that we'll have our fish and they will all be animated next we'll have to get motion in our fish so i will stop the animation and we'll go on frame 1 so i will just hide our original fish so first you can see that our all the particles are very much arranged into a row so i will just have variations in their position so for that we'll select our particle and we'll apply a field turbulence field i will go in the attributes and i will just remove that animation so it will be applied all over the scene and now we play so i will get i will get noise kind of motion in our fish so will they will have variation they will not be arranged so now our fish is fish are like this so i want this position for their starting position so we'll select our particle and go in the solvers initial state and say set for selected so now this position will be will be their starting position currently we are on frame 91 i will go on frame 1 so you can see this will be our now starting position now we have got our fish let's for time being i will just delete the turbulence field and now we have to move our fish to front side and i want my fish to be animated only with my field so for that i will click on the particles and will remove the conserve conserve is the attribute where the particles will conserve the energy i do not want to conserve any energy so i will just make it zero so the particle will be only animated according to our fields next we have to move the fish forward side so for that we'll use air field so select your particles we'll go in the field and we'll say air i will just first reset everything and say create so here is our air field so currently our air field is not affecting much so first i will go in the attributes and attenuation make it to zero so it will be applied all over the scene it will not fade off next we have use maximum distance i will make it off so currently it is using only up to 20 units now it will be applied all over the scene if i increase the magnitude so you can see better magnitude is the power of your field so if you play we are having this animation in our particles so they should not move up they should go for further so we will have to change the direction currently the direction is positive 1 i will make it 0 and i will give the direction to positive x they should be moving in x direction we will have to have more magnitude for the particles so maybe i will make it to 50 and now we play so you can see our fish are moving forward i do not want to see my handle so i will just go in the group and hide the handle so we'll see only the geometry so now we can see our fish are moving forward i want to move them more fast so we'll go in the air field and increase the magnitude so they will move faster so now we have quite much good animation in our shark and they are moving that side and now we have if you notice they are moving very much straight forward they do not have variation in their path so now we'll add that also so i will select the particles and will apply the turbulence field again and uh, at again i will remove that innovation and let's play what do we have so now our particles should be moving with variation also currently is quite low so maybe i will crank up the magnitude to 25 and now we play so you can notice that we are having ups and downs and noise kind of motion in our particles so i will come down and re uh, reduce the frequency to maybe 0.2 and now we play so you can notice that we are having slight variations in their motion sometimes they are moving 
up and then sometimes down and they are constantly moving forward also and maybe I increase the airfield more 200 like this and now because of the turbulence field they are moving they are having different noise in their path also if you see you will notice sometimes they are going down and up then we have noise in their path and one thing also if you notice that few of, of, of our geometries will have penetration like this so now we will control that we do not want this kind of penetration to happen so for that I will go on frame 1 again and we will apply radial field in our particles so we will select our particles and say go in the field and say radial so now we have applied our radial field in the particles radial field is like a blast it throws the particles in all the directions we will apply our radial field into the particles and we'll use and we'll use this radial field on per particle basis so whenever the particles will come near each other they will throw them so they will not collide and they will not penetrate so currently if we play we can see that we have some penetration in two geometries like here we have if you notice we have some penetrations in two fish two or three fish so we'll apply our radial field in such a manner so that all the particles we have they will push each other and they will not penetrate so now we'll set up that so first I will remove the I will have very less attenuation to maybe 0.2 and for the maximum distance you should measure your main geometry for the maximum distance so I will show up the original fish will zoom in and if we see that the size of our geometry is almost three units this is the center then one unit two unit and three unit so we have three unit distance three units this side and three units this side so for the radial field I will give the maximum distance to three so now the radial field will be throwing the particles three units in all the directions left side right side up down everywhere and maximum distance on and the maximum distance is 3 so first we have to set the distance and I will hide the original fish again back and now we will set up our radial field so every particle will be affecting like a radial field if I hide the instancer you can see our particles so maybe I will change from points to sphere so you can see them so now these all particles we have for our fish these particles will be acting like a radial field so we'll do that by like this so select your radial field then select your particles and go in the fields and say you selected as source of field and one thing you can notice that our radial field automatically becomes child of our particles so select your radial field and we have to say apply per vertex on so now every particle will become like a radial field so now the particles as they come near to each other they will push them because we have radial field applied to them so if you notice that here again so if you notice that all the particles will be pushing each other so they will not come near to each other if I crank up the magnitude so you can understand better so maybe I will increase the magnitude to 10 and just for time being I will increase their distance also so you can see what is going on I will increase the maximum distance to 20 so now every particle will be throwing each other up to 20 units so if I go on frame 1 and play so you can notice that particles are pushing each other from the distance of 20 units if I increase it or just play again so you can notice all the particles are pushing each other 
if it comes within the limit of 20 units so like that not 20 we'll just have it 2 3 so whenever any particle comes near within the limit of 3 units everywhere this side this side this side it will push that particle so it will not collide and it will not get penetration so we'll get this animation in our fish so like that you can have so many fish moving around